Hi guys and girls, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for joining me for this video. This is another well-awaited video that you guys have been going on about. And I finally, like, you know when you, I, I just procrastinate all the time. But I finally said to myself, you know what, today is the day that we're going to do my skincare decluttering. So I'm going to show you my skincare drawers in just a second. These videos are going to be split into different parts. Um, yeah, if you want to see how I declutter, then please keep on watching. So I'm going to see what I can fit into this video. This might be really, really long. It might be really really short I don't know and um, we do have quite a bit to get through the reason why I'm doing this is one I obviously of course I'm a skincare junkie I'm a skincare enthusiast I am training to be a skincare specialist but also this is my job I do get given PR regularly to review products to create content for you guys to show you what I advise to get and what not to get but I feel as if right now because of how my skin's going and the fact that I have had a lot of these products for over two years now some a year Year that have expired I need to get rid of them so some of these products are new that I'm not going to go for and um, will go to like families and friends and then other products that have expired will of course will be disposed of in the correct fashion for recycling the environment etc etc so um this video is not bragging in any way shape or form this video is not sponsored I will of course give mini reviews throughout I know when I did my makeup decluttering a lot of you guys especially the eyeshadow brushes were saying that you didn't want me to go into too much detail about the brushes maybe i'll save that for a different video but that's just how i prefer to film my videos of course like i say if you don't like it you can just click off um but yeah i'm gonna just separate it these into different parts certain products that i absolutely love and certain products that i don't like i will show you on camera okay so here we have my skincare drawers which are these right here um i have currently one two three four five drawers i know it goes down to six but i had that last one as like pr stuff that i haven't touched yet um so if, like these ones are my makeup ones and then these ones are my skincare ones so we have in here my cleansers and toners in here we have my serums which we're going through today. I may just be able to do this in one video and then split them up, I'm not too sure. This drawer, we have my moisturizers <laughs> and SPFs. I have also some SPFs up there. I then have in here any masks, eye masks, um, exfoliating products. And then the last drawer in here, we have more like my double cleansing um, and any other like exfoliating pills, etc., etc., and devices. So we'll split these videos up as I said. Um, we're going to do obviously cleansers and that in another video. But yeah, and toners. So toners is on the right side and then the cleansers are on the left. But today I feel as if I'm hoping to focus on serums and then maybe another video we will do moisturizers but if i can fit the moisturizers in i will do just because these are my two fullest drawers for those that are asking this is the ikea packs system where you buy the wardrobe the wardrobe frame and then you can buy shelves and you can buy drawers individually i will link everything in the description you don't have to buy extra parts and things like that like you don't have to buy these extra drawer parts right here we have the serums drawer which i can bring you a little bit closer for you guys yeah this is the serum drawer there's a lot of boxes that need to be recycled things like that so in here i can take all my serum all of my oils all of my like spot treatments we're going to go through everything and it also sorry contains my eye products in here as well we're going to be going through everything a lot of this is actually going to be given away not given away but a lot of this is actually going to be disposed of just because they have expired i will not i don't i don't necessarily remember when i got things but i can remember the time frame so yeah we're just going to get it straight into it a lot of these products have not been touched yet and um, some of these products are even finished but i haven't had the courage to throw them away yet which doesn't really make sense just because I want to remember that I need to get another one of those and so yeah we're just gonna kick straight off with some stuff that I use daily so we have here the Murad um, environmental shield of Vita C glycolic brightening serum keeping this great product highly recommend um, contains glycolic acid and vitamin C highly recommend this one from Murad have the environmental shield Vita C eye dark circle corrector love 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 this I use this day and night highly recommend if you're someone that suffers with dark circles I haven't seen major improvements but I have seen that my under eyes are not as dull and as not I don't really have dark circles but I have sometimes from puffy eyes and then obviously when I'm sleep deprived this really really helps the Ole Henriksen banana bright eye cream this is another one that I quite enjoy and um, so I'm keeping this one we then have the SVR 20% um, optimized vitamin C ampule. Highly recommend this one. This is a great vitamin C alternative for those that are probably going to ask me. So yeah, I'm going to keep this one. Sorry if it's not focused in. It's just I'm not great at 
focusing thing. So yeah, this is a great product. We then have the Isin Tree um, Hyaluronic Acid Water Essence. This is more of a serum rather than an essence. It's got eight types of hyaluronic acid. Great little serum. And um, I do recommend this one. I have this. This is great hyaluronic acid serum keeping this one. We then here have another Murad product. This is the Retinol Youth Renewal Eye Cream. Keeping this one, Retinol is great. Um, I like to use Retinol with Niacinamide. A lot of people say that you can't use it together. Yes, you can. Um, I find, obviously, obviously skincare is all to do with personal preference, but yeah, I'm keeping this one. We've then got the box, which I'm going to recycle. And um, this is the Hogobe, Hogobe or Hogobe, um, niacinamide serum this is probably one of my favorite nice niacinamide serums currently um all of the ingredients that i have actually searched up that are in the back are great there's not one okay or bad ingredient in this highly recommend this one you can find this on i think indulge beauty or like the Fra fragrance direct highly recommend we next here have the Noid, which is the Ordinary's own little other brand. This is the Multi Molecular Hyaluronic Acid Complex, 30 milliliter. Great, love the little hyaluronic acid that I've been currently using, keeping this one. Then have the Murad Resurgence um, Retinal Youth Renewal Serum, and I also have the cream, which I'll be showing you in the next video. Currently keeping this one, this is a great retinal serum. I don't like to use all of them together. That I like to use the eye cream and the serum together, but I don't like to use the retinal eye cream serum and the moisturizer, like the cream, just because I feel as if my skin has too much retinol on it then. But I like to use it alternating between, some days I'm like, like one day of the week while I'm using retinol, I'll use the cream, and then the next week I'll use the serum, etc, etc. Keeping this one. Here the Paula's Choice 10% Azelic Acid Booster with Licorice and sal um, Salicylic Acid. This is great if you want to mix in with your moisturisers, it's like a booster. I love that Paula's Choice does this. Paula's Choice is probably one of my favourite skincare brands. Highly recommend this, keeping this one. AHA BHA PHA 30 Day Miracle Serum. I bought I bought this from Yes Style. This is a great one when, when I'm exfoliating. It's great for pore care, brightening and moisturising. Of course, I'm keeping this one. Next, I have this guy right here, which is the Pore Peach Retinoic Eye Cream Retonic retinoic retinoic i can't pronounce today brighten and tighten eye cream um this is new so i'm keeping this one i have been using this and i do quite enjoy it but i obviously I alternate between this one and the mered one the pharmacist golden hour aha glycolic serum rosehip oil i've nearly finished this one i am keeping this one this is probably my favorite glycolic serum it contains rosehip seed oil which is great for lightening scars and um, moisturizing the skin soothing the skin this is great if you want to decongest your skin if you have blackhead spots things like that this is great the Ole Hemrickson Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. Now, I know this contains some products which people like skincare by Hiram don't like. Guys, I just want to say out there, I do really, really enjoy skincare by Hiram's videos, but I want to make sure that you guys know that there are other skincare enthusiasts, skincare specialists as well, um, that can recommend you products that he may disagree with because of his skin. Everyone's skin is different. Some products that I have found that Hiram has said are really great, I've used, and they've broken me out like crazy. So, of course, he's got amazing advice, but like I'm saying... Don't just stick to one person. I've always been very open and learned what is good for your skin. Not just what goods for his or any other influencer, but what is good for yours. Um, he had recommended some products, like I said, that I don't that he really loved for his skin, but broke me out and didn't work for me. So everyone is different. And um, this is a great, great one. As much as this contains products that ingredients that I'll go, hmm, about, I have found that this is a great serum personally i prefer this over the other one the other one did absolutely nothing for my skin i did enjoy it at first i thought i did see um results but i think that was because of the eye cream and the moisturizer from um early Hemrickson. but this right here contains phas as well and hyal hyaluronic acid great one this is a new product this is a sarah chapman skin assist um, overnight facial. I have used this like an oil. Of course, I'm keeping this one. I want to see how these go. New vitamin C product that we have, which was gifted to me. This is by Wish Trend, the pure vitamin C, 15% with furolic acid, um, water like texture, rapid absorption, vitamin complex formula. I've not tried this yet, so I'm excited to see what this does. But yeah, keeping this one. So we have another new product, which is the SVR. SVR is a great brand that not a lot of people talk about. It's a vitamin C anti UVA, UVB pollution and pure. This protects, it's got SPF. 30. I haven't seen a serum with SPF in yet, so this might be a really, really great one to use. I have the La Roche Posay um, Hylou B5 serum, so it's an anti wrinkle concentrated repairing, repumping sim um, serum. It contains hyaluronic acid and vitamin B5, which is a derivative or is the same thing as niacinamide. Um, I can't exactly remember, but yeah, I really, really enjoy this one. If I'll show you the packaging of it, I talk about this a lot on my stories. I've seen other skincare influencers use this. This is a great one. 
Then we have here the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% and Zinc 1%. This product actually did absolutely nothing for my skin personally. I did find when I used this, it actually broke me out a little bit on my forehead. I don't know why. I'm going to keep this just in case I want to try it again for like reviewing purposes because I do want to review the um, whole ordinary line and not every single product but most of them but this is supposed to regulate sebum and minimize pores i love niacinamide as i've said but yeah for some reason this one just didn't really work for me but i'm going to keep it anyway next we have here the dermalogical clear start Cl breakout clearing booster this is great stuff when i was talking about the time when i had um a little breakout um on my forehead i did use this guy right here which i'm also keeping which is the pharmacist sister sister azelic acid um acne spot treatment and um yeah spot treatment serum um this is great sometimes what i like to use with this one is i like to put this on as a usual serum so i'll put it on all over my face and it does fine it's a little bit it's it's, it's not sensitizing or anything like that but this one is great if you want to do direct spots i know this is quite it might be quite expensive but it is great they are both i recommend both of these Next we have here um, the Hylamide C25 Stabilizing Vitamin C Booster, another one that I'm keeping, I've been using this, this is more of an oil texture, this contains 25% ethyl absorbic acid, so this is quite a high dosage, I'm not too sure if it's exactly like the strongest potent form of vitamin C, but I know it might be either derivative or something like that, but yeah, I have used this, it's very much an oil texture, but I enjoy it anyway. Another great one from Vici. This is the Mineral 89 Booster. Um, the only thing I don't understand, the only I don't mind about Vici, which I'm sort of like, ugh, is that I can't really name them, I can't really talk about them just because of the fact that I think it's a French brand. So I don't have too much English information on the front um, or the back, but yeah, I do quite enjoy this one to oil so we have here the pharmacist in your element facial oil this contains probiotic um bo pro pure botanical oils and vitamin e i'm going to keep this one um i don't really know when to use oils i think i prefer to use them at night and then we have here the overnight retinol oil by pixie um i am i do really really love pixie skincare their cleansers not so much but their serums and oils i quite enjoy so yeah keeping both of these we have here the Paula's Paula's choice c15 super booster with vitamin c and furic acid Obviously, of course, these are quite potent ones, but you can mix them in with like a hyaluronic serum, hyaluronic acid serum that you have. Let me see if this is, yeah, so you, as you can see mine, I don't know if you can see mine, um, there is the color change, which shows it's not as potent as it was before. So sadly, I'm gonna get rid of this one just because it has been exposed to a little bit too much oxygen, but yeah, this one is going, sadly. But I'm hoping to get my hands on this again because this is amazing. We have here the Hyalamide Sub-Q Eyes Advanced Serum. This is like a mini eye serum. This is super, super cute. This is another The Ordinary's like sister brand. This is great. It's a little cute serum right here, keeping this one. We have here the Benton Fermentation Eye Cream. I'm going to keep this because I want to try and use it for a while. I have tried it and for some reason I find this doesn't do anything for my eyes. Maybe I need to look into what it's actually meant to do and then I can see. But yeah, um, sometimes I like to see if this product can surprise me. But then sometimes obviously because of I need to just know what it's doing then I can be a bit more aware but so far this one's not done anything for me but I'm going to keep it here we have the good molecules and niacinamide serum and this is formulated with 10% niacinamide this is 12 months I'm going to get rid of this one because I feel as if it's one it's been exposed to too much oxygen and two um, I think I've had it for quite a while now so I am sadly going to get rid of this one Another serum from Good Molecules, which I haven't opened yet. This is the Discoloration Correcting Serum. I just want to say, guys, as much as there might be an expiry date on it, the expiry date is from when it's opened. Um, I haven't opened this yet, so a lot of these products I haven't opened yet, and I don't plan to open as of yet, so I can keep these for a bit longer just because they haven't been opened. If I'm wrong, please correct me. I'm always open to learning, but this is a Discoloration Correcting Serum. It's great for people that have got discoloration, dark circles, uneven skin tone, things like that. So this might be a great for those that suffer with hyperpigmentation. Next we have the multifunction formula snail repair eye cream by Myzon. I bought this from Yestar. I really really enjoy this one especially when my eyes are suffering when they're like either they're a bit sunburnt or they're a bit dry. This is a great repairing eye cream keeping this one. We have the Murad blemish control rapid spot relief treatment. This is great. Um, I think a product that I'm not a lot. It's never going to focus guys please. Uh, this is a great little spot treatment that a lot of you guys um, I've recommended to you and you've enjoyed. I do really really like this one. I don't think it's as good as the dermalogical one but i haven't used it as much as the dermalogical one to tell but i do like this one we also have the cerave um 
eye repair cream this is really really simple this is has three essential ceramides and hyaluronic acid great for like repairing moisturizing soothing and it also contains niacinamide which is great for obviously brightening the under eye next we have here the drunk elephant de bronzy anti-pollution sunshine sunshine drops i'm not actually too sure what this is meant to do i do love my um uh, drunk elephants. So take a rich virgin marula and black currant seed oil along with vitamin F immediately replenishes the delicate balance that supports a healthy bar for barrier function of skin while a concentrated mix of protective antioxidants boosts skin's defense against pollution. And okay I'm going to keep this just because I feel as if this might be handy. I'm not actually too sure what it's meant to do. This was gifted, but yeah, I'm gonna keep this anyway. We then here have some new little um, stuff from a new brand that I haven't really invested too much time into yet. This is the Sweet Chef Kel and Vitamin B and the Beet and the Vitamin A Serum Shots. So this is to hydrate and soothe dry skin. And then we have one that refines pores and smooths rough skin. I'm gonna keep both of these. Um, I think this is a cute band. They do stock these in Cold Beauty, so I'm keeping those. We do have some Alpha H um, products. We have the Vitamin C with grapeseed oil. We have the Vitamin E with macadamia, Vitamin A with evening primrose, and then we have Vitamin B with copper tripeptide. Um, I have tried the Vitamin B, um, obviously, because it is um, niacinamide, but obviously I want to try the other ones, like the Vitamin C one and things like that. So I'm going to keep all of these and see where they go. Next, we have the Summer Friday CC Me Serum. Oh my God, I love this stuff. This is an amazing serum. Um, it's such, such a great one. Um, I, again, I think I saw a few skincare influencers rave about it. I did get it gifted. And this is some good stuff. I know it's expensive. Summer Friday's products are great. I love the packaging. Highly recommend this serum. I have another Paula's Choice um, booster. This is the 10% Niacinamide booster. This has a 12 month life thing. I think I've had this not too long, but I do think it's on its way out just because I think I have, I think I left this open one day. So yeah, I'm not gonna risk it, but I am gonna get rid of this one sadly, but this is another great one. I do wanna stock up on these again. Next we have the Snail Repair Advanced Serum. This contains 93% snail mucus filtrate. This is from Perito. This is a great serum. This is anything to do with um, Korean skincare I am here for. This is an amazing serum. Highly recommend this one. Of course, I'm keeping it. Then the Kills Vita Skin Strengthening Super Serum. Um, I've used this a few times. I really did enjoy it. I completely forgot that I had it. I think I thought I lost it, but obviously because I saw the red top, I didn't see the kills bit but i'm going to keep this one of course i have here the vici um normaden photo solution um double correction daily care this is a natural origin with two percent hyaluronic acid two percent salicylic acid and hyaluronic acid um, i'm going to keep this just because two percent of salicylic acid for some reason does justice on my skin sometimes you don't need the whole high percentage of like 30 percent vitamin c i don't really think they stock 30 percent but something like 25 percent or 20 percent or 15 percent sometimes it's just too high for the skin that the skin just can't take it but this two percent of salicylic acid same with the paula's choice um two percent bha liquid exfoliant thing which i'll show you in another video highly recommend love this claire's fundamental watery oil drops i really really enjoy these they're different but i really really like them i loved to mix these with for example one of these two boosters or like another booster or like another serum sometimes you can mix serums sometimes i like to do that but yeah i really really love this one keeping this we then have the murad um hydration of vitalixa um recovery serum i forgot the lid to this i don't know if that means that the oxygen's getting in there or there's bacteria but yeah i'm keeping this one i have used quite a fair amount of this really enjoying it here you have the clarity concentrate salicylic acid and probiotics serum by pixie i haven't opened this yet i don't think nope i haven't opened this yet which is great so it means that it's not contaminated it means it can last a little bit longer so yeah keeping this one I've here oh my god this is brilliant this is the skin suitacles blemish and age potent treatment for aging skin and imperfections if you have um breakouts acne um aging skin anyone that's got problematic skin you will need this serum right here this serum is the jam it is so good um it is clear it helped clear my skin you know when i had my acne problem i completely forgot that i had this just because it was tucked away around the back this is why i needed to do this declutter because there's so many products that i absolutely love that i i've forgotten about and i need to re-love again so yeah keeping this one here we have two serums we have here the glycolic 10 renewal overnight by skin suits calls amazing one i think this contains 10 percent glycolic which i think is one of the highest glycolics i've had great this one does make your skin tingle but it is so good for your skin skin suits calls is such an amazing brand and then we have one of my old favorites this is a supervation it's vitamin c 
plus brightening glow boost skin serum i think this is very much pretty much done but i have had this over a year now so i won't risk it especially with vitamin c because of the potency so yeah this one's going so here we have the nip and fab um, retinol fix eye treatment i used to rave about this all the time on instagram the reason why i don't need more is one this is finished and two if it's not finished it's got an expiry of a six months and i do not want to risk it please guys i know i get a lot of comments saying oh but it should be fine personal choice guys for me i don't want to keep it so this is going you then have this new one this is the laura mercier nourishing rose oil i haven't opened this yet this contains fresh spring water rose oil and starflower oil i'm going to keep this one obviously because it's new and i haven't opened it yet have another um svr product this is the five percent vitamin b and three hyaluronic acids ampule and this has a nine month thing expiry um i'm going to keep this one and finish it off as you know i'm not, I'm not going to risk this one i think i've had this one way too long now we also have the good molecules hyaluronic acid serum this is an amazing one especially with the niacinamide one as well sadly i have had this way too long so this one is going we then here have the Nip and Fab Salicylic Fix Concentrate Extreme 2%. Um, I'm going to get rid of this one just because I, one, I have way too many salicylic acid serums and two, this has a six month expiry and I have had this over a year now. So yeah, sadly, this has got to go. I have the Oil Ixar Potent and Precious um, Amazonian Kakei or Kakai Facial Oil. Um, personally, I don't really see myself using this and I have had this well over six months, I think. So yeah, um, I haven't really used this much. This one is sadly going. Of course I am sadly going to get rid of this one. This is the Pure Cold Press Rosehip Seed Oil by Good Molecules. I think a lot of you guys saw me raving about this on my Instagram quite a while back. This is great. I had a little moment where I really, really loved a rosehip um rose hip seed oil but i have watched a few videos about oils that oils for some reason when they lay up on the skin they're like a breeding ground for bacteria so if you're someone that suffers with acting things like that and is applying oils over the skin sometimes you may find that you break out more which is what i found sometimes because i'm guessing because it as adds, adds a seal over the skin it's a breeding ground for bacteria and your skin can't exactly breathe but i'm going to look into it more if you have any like information or if you're experienced please comment down in the description the comment section i'd love to hear it but yeah this one's sadly going to have the amazing fresh rose deep hydration oil infused serum i love this stuff um, i've got to put this at the front of my thing how many months is it 12 months i have not had this 12 months don't even think it's been out over a year great serum absolutely love this i'm dying to use it again so yeah keeping this one next we have this which is the boots vitamin c brightening eye gel i actually quite enjoy this i think i mentioned this in my boots vitamin c i think i did a vitamin c one did i do a vitamin c one or was it just the glow one but yeah this one i really really enjoyed anyway keeping this one here you have the reboot skin reviver booster serum by i think it's gym for your skin this is great i completely forgot that i had this and i have had this well over a year now so i'm sadly gonna have to get rid of it but this is great if you have someone if you need like to retexturize your skin or if you need to revive your skin or if you're suffering with like blackheads and um, clogged pores and you want to firm your skin this is an amazing one another new one which is the origins plant scription anti-aging power serum i haven't touched this yet so yeah keeping this one so then we have the Revolution Gold Elixir Rosehip Seed Oil. It helps to condition skin and even texture. Um, I'm probably going to get rid of this one just because it contains certain products that I'm not too amazing about personally. Um, so yeah, sadly this one is going. More of the time when you want like glass skin vibes, it contains peach extract, niacinamide, uh, peptides to help brighten, minimize appearance of pores, things like that. So I'm going to keep this one. It's probably going to go in my middle section just because I feel as if I'm not going to use it as much. But it is really lovely anyway. We then here have the Drunk Elephant Shava Complex um, Eye Serum. I've had this for the longest time. I think I've had this two years. This has got to go. I've had this for so long. I think Drunk Elephant, one of the biggest brands that sent me PR when I was really, really small as a blogger. But yeah, this one's got to go, sadly. I've had this way too long. With this one right here, which is the Drunk Elephant TLC Frambos Glycolic Night Serum. Um, I have a new one of these. This one is actually finished of mine. So yeah, this one has got to go. Another one that sadly got to go um, is the Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. This is a great facial oil, guys. Honestly, it's really, really great. Um, I've got to get rid of this one, though, sadly. So, yeah, it's way out of date. 
Next one that we have is the W equals HB squared formula. Um, this is phase one for beauty and phase two for health. This is a great little serum. It is very expensive. Um, but yeah, this one's got to go. I have practically finished this and I've had this way over the expiry date. I have a pure beam luxury oil um, with jojoba and squalene. I'm going to keep this because I've been seeing some new things about squalene, which I've actually been loving. Um, so yeah, keeping that one. One of my favourites um, for like hydration this is the drunk elephant b hydro intensive hydration serum again i've got to get rid of this one just because i've had this way too long and the expiry date is 12 months and i've had this practically about two years now so it's got to go then we have more of my other faves which is the sand and sky australian emu apple dreamy glow drops got to keep this one this is a great one and um, if you want glowy skin if you want to hydrate and brighten if you want to brighten your skin this is amazing so this is the Super Facialist Retinol Plus Anti-Aging Booster. Um, I'm probably going to keep this one. Uh, it's got 24 month expiry. I've not had that 21, 24 months. And um, we also have here the Ole Henriksen Truth Serum. Um, I'm going to get rid of this one just because I don't. I'm not a huge fan of it personally. So yeah, that one's going. And then we have here, which for some reason I've been using for the longest time, but it doesn't ever want to go down. This is a super drugs own brand. It's the Be Hydrated Booster. It contains hyaluronic acid, but I've had this for way too long now, over a year, so it's got to go. I have here, which is the Filgora um, Innovation Optim Eyes. Uh, I'm not really too sure what these are. I know it contains hyaluronic acid and 50 other ingredients. I'm not really too sure what these are, but I'm going to keep these anyway. Here we have the Nature Republic Cell Power Essence. This is an essence. We obviously have an essence and then we have like a serum. This is great. I'm going to keep this one. I really, really do love Nature Republic. It's a new founded brand for me that I have found and I love it. Then here we have the Snail Bee High Content Essence. I haven't touched this yet, so I'm going to keep this one and see what it's actually supposed to do. The Good Molecules Overnight Exfoliating Treatment with 10% 10, 10 AHA BHA. I haven't had this a year yet, but for some reason it doesn't work great with my skin, so this one's going to have to go. Here, the Jalique Supreme Rejuvenating Serum. I really, really enjoy this one. I did go to their launch, um, well, I did go to a little meeting with them, and that was great. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep this one does also go with the eye cream which i really really love from them as well it came with like a little applicator but yeah i really really enjoy this one then here we have the vitamin c glow revealing pads i did actually do a review of the um primark skincare but i have not used these since not because i don't like them i did really enjoy them but just because i have too much right now so these are going but these two little cuties these are the revolution pigment boost eye creams these both have a six month expiry i'll probably see if i can get through these as quick as possible but if not i'm gonna have to get rid of these these guys right here which are bolt beauty i love the packaging these these come in little like serum capsules so these are vitamin a and don't glow shine ampules um yeah i think they're both serums which i'm going to keep boots glow eye cream for brightening and hydrating i'm going to keep this one just because i don't really have too many eye creams we then have this guy which is the origins ginseng refreshing eye cream what is the expiry date on this six months i've had this over six months i think yeah it's practically nearly finished as well so yeah sadly this one is going to go these two so this is the glam glow bright eyes i think this has another six months but i haven't actually touched this yet so i'm going to try and see if i can see what i can do with this and then we have the um bare minerals skin longevity vital power eye gel i'm not hugely mad about this i haven't really seen it do much for my skin so this one's going to go I have another new eye cream which I haven't touched yet which is the Laura Mercier Illuminating Eye Cream. I'm going to keep this one of course because it's new. Another new one, it's not really new but I haven't opened it yet which is the Glow Pot um, Pro Age Eye Cream. This I'm going to keep. The new ones which of, course, oh, which of course I'm keeping. So we have the Honest Beauty Vitamin C Radiant Serum which is new. I haven't tried this yet and then we have the By Terry Brightening CC Serum. Um, which again I'm going to keep because I haven't tried yet. Also we've got some Sunday Riley products which like I've said, anything new I am keeping currently. So these are all the good genes, autocorrect, UFO, and the CEO Glow products, which I am keeping. And this product, which I'm actually keeping, it's not really a skincare product, it's, it is, but it's an overnight mist. You're supposed to actually put it on your pillows or spray it around your room. And it's supposed to really soothe because it's got jasmine and lavender. So I'm gonna keep that one. The Pixie by Petra, eye bright, eye zone brighteners, and a vitamin C under eye brightener. I'm gonna keep this one and then probably give this one to a friend. And lastly, we have the um, Biolumin C Eye Serum by Dermalogica. I've had this way over six months now, so sadly this has got to go. 
we have a Sarah Chapman London Comfort Eye Cream, um, which is de-stressed. This is new, so obviously I'm keeping. And then we also have the Soleil Toujours uh, Perpetual Radiance Eye Glow and Illuminated with SPF 15. This is new, very different to what I'd usually go for, but I'm going to keep. Last two in this drawer is the Herbal Blend Emulsion by Nature Republic, which is great. I don't know if this is just a toner. No, it's a serum, I think. But yeah, this I haven't used, I haven't used this, that one much yet, so I won't really know what it's like, so I'm obviously I'm gonna keep that. And then we have this guy right here, which is gonna go, which is the Clinique Moisture Surge Eyes. Actually, this one's gotta go, sadly. This is the drawer basically empty. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna fill it with my serums, as you guys are gonna see, and then we'll come back with everything that's final. Well, I'm going to show you up close and personal in just a minute of what it looks like, but I am so proud of myself that I've actually like decluttered it down to this. Now, it looks like it's still filtered, but there's so much space in here. I've got all of my eye products. I've done it by vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, exfoliating, retinol, spot treatment, and then back there is like the stuff that I haven't really touched yet that I need to go into. But I am so proud of my I know it sounds ridiculous, but I am so proud of myself of how I've got to here because I generally didn't think that I was going to be able to declutter this much. Now, these products are actually products that I use all the time. Now I've looked at it and gone, these are my holy these are my holy grails. Those are my holy grails, and those are new products that I'm excited to try. Like, these are generally my holy grail products in about 20... I know it sounds a lot. But, yeah, each day, like, each time of the month or each day is so different. And I thought to myself, like, it might seem like I have loads, but I have one, two, three, four, five, six different vitamin C serums and I think right now that is all I need before I had like 12 I don't need that many sometimes I want a vitamin C that's exfoliating I've got one here sometimes I want a bit more of a potent vitamin C one day I've got one here sometimes I just want a general like luxury you know vitamin C I've got a new vitamin C that I haven't tried yet and then I've got one that's just like more even more exfoliating but a little bit gentler so yeah I've just got a mix of everything I've got some like hyaluronic acid I've got some um exfoliating product I haven't got loads of each which i'm so happy about really i'm going to show you up close and personal now so this is the drawer that we had i'm going to show you before picture obviously somewhere here if i just zoom back so you guys can see a before picture but yeah this is how it's looking i'm so proud of myself honestly we got rid of stuff up there then we got rid of a whole load of stuff over there and it's just i'm super proud of myself before this was like severely decluttered and things like that but it's so empty now well not so empty but it's just all i need really right now now like i know a lot of people are going to say but hannah there's still so much for me i get through these when i'm reviewing things so far like so like all together so yeah i'm super proud of myself that is now a draw that is done we're going to move on to this one in another video just because this video is pretty pretty long so yeah that is everything in this video i really really hope you enjoyed it i am super chuffed now you know when you go for a day where you're just like um after school <laughs> um you know when you just go for a day where you're like super like i just want to declutter i didn't think i was going to declutter this much but i'm so proud of myself honestly like it was so decluttered before i could barely find any serum that i want to but now i can just go into my drawer and i'll be sorted but yeah i really really hope you enjoyed this video i cannot wait for the moisturizer one um or i might do cleansers should i do what one do you want next do you want moisturizers or do you want cleansers and toners you guys pick whatever you want to do so yeah i really really hope you enjoyed this video please give this a massive thumbs up sorry that it was super long but i know you guys were like engaging ones but yeah follow me on instagram which is a hands that lose and i shall see you in my next one bye